today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruel review YouTuber that is trying to have a year long no buy and today it is time for the last part in my spring palettes series and one part of me is like finally it's over. It has been fun but um, I want to do something else than like pink. <laughs> So today I'm using the little Memento palette from Lethal. This was one of their six pan palettes. And it is the pink one. And I choose this because I don't have a lot of pink in my collection. Or I felt that way at least. But now I'm, I'm starting to realize that I have a lot of pink. So I'm going to do a look with this. And I think I actually want to do a halo eye. So I'm guessing that I'm just going to start. So as I said, I'm planning on doing a halo and I did swatch a little bit before so I think I'm just going to use Okay, maybe I'm going to use three colors uh, I want to use at least these two and maybe this one to blend them a little bit better together Maybe this one to deepen it down. I don't know, but I will start with this one and I have actually no idea what this color is I will leave it down in the description hopefully <laughs> It's so bad at doing that. But I'm going to try. And like, don't get me wrong, it has been fun to do these spring palettes and have like something to do. But uh, I just want to do something else now. And of course, if I wouldn't wanted to do this like at all, I wouldn't have done them. So I'm not like forcing myself like super much i don't hate to do the spring palette things but just i want to play pl play with some other colors and okay i don't know if i should take this in my crease as well as for right now i'm mm, maybe going to do it And today is the first day that I've curled my hair with having bangs and I must say that I do really <laughs> love this to have curly hair and uh, my bangs and I'm starting to get used to this bangs now it has gone like a week the only thing is uh, I usually don't wash my hair that much but the bangs is getting kind of greasy rather fast not that strange but yeah it's workable and the only thing oh no, i know i took it in my crease um the only thing that i have uh, had to work on is how to blow dry my hair and i have figured out the smartest way to do it is to first only take the bangs and take do you uh, why, why why am i talking about this but i dry my bangs first and then i dry the rest of my hair so then i can have some control over my bangs and something like this i'm going to cut the crease because i do really want to cut the halo cut the crease cut the halo because i do really want the light shimmer to really be as strong as as it can be and it always feels like if you use a glitter primer or uh, like cut your crease with the concealer it feels like you are saying that the shadow is not that good which I don't think is correct because sometimes it just need a little bit of help and sometimes I do actually just cut it because I want to have more control over it so I am going in with my glitter primer and then I'm going to take this one and uh, we will see how concentrated I need to be. And I'm using as usual the glitter primer from NYX. I do really love this. This is my second tube. I think this is, it's an amazing glitter primer or an amazing tube cut creases and halos and uh, everything and I'm trying to 
I go over the pink a little bit. I'm trying to not have that much and I go up in my crease a little bit and over on this pink. And now I think Astrid is seeing birds in the window. And I'm going to tap the edges. And then I'm going in with the shimmer shade. I do really hope that this will look good. I have actually used this palette. I don't want to say a lot, but more than I usually use a palette, but I usually don't use it like on video. And this shade I usually just take in my inner corners and not like this much on my lid. So I really wanted to try that to see how it looks and I do like it but feel like it needs I'm going to go in with this shimmer and take it to blend the matte shadow together with the halo shadow because it feels like it came a little bit too hard of a line here and I don't know do you hear the seagulls I want them to die maybe I'm not like super pleased with it but I think I do like it it feels like though the edge is a little bit too harsh. If I go in a little bit more with the matte shade. I don't know. So you take like everything. I don't know if that was better, but I guess that is like the best we're going to get out of this look. I don't like it when a look seems so good in your head and then you actually do it and it doesn't turn out as great as you wanted it to be. I guess I didn't tap out the glitter primer enough in here so it became like a super sharp edge. whatever. I'm going to have it like this. So I'm going to fix this eye as well, fix my base, and then I come back. Okay, <laughs> this is the finished look for my contour. I did use this contour stick from Isadora. My blush, I did use Lola from Nabla. And highlighter, I did use this one from Lethal. I think it's Flux or flax I can never remember and for my lips I did use departure from lethal and then I took LH cosmetics infinity lip gloss in mellow mauve over and on my watch line I did take this must be beach fuss from Colourpop and I don't know where to put everything I do like this look it's not my favorite spring look that I have done in this thing but I do really like it I ended up using three of the colors from the memento palette so I use these three colors and yeah I do like it it wasn't maybe the best cut for an halo I have ever done this eye was a little bit better than this eye but yeah I do like it I do like to do halo eyes so yeah that was all for my little spring series it has been fun, but as I said, at the same time, it has been fun. Okay, I'm not going to lie, it has been fun and it has been easy for me to know what to do, even though some days I actually did want to use another palette, but I do not feel forced to have used this. I am happy that I've used some of the palettes more in this spring series and I'm so happy that you've seemed to like this. 
I don't know if I will do like palettes inspired by summer. I don't think I will. But I think I need to find something to do after this. Maybe I should try to do multiple looks one palette again. It has been a while. Uh, I actually love to do them. But now when I'm not feeling that much it's taking such a long time and it's like I'm getting no inspiration for using a palette but yeah we will see what will come next but yeah if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and i hope that i will see you in the next one bye